G'day everyone, B Agent out here. Today we're going to do the comparison between the Dell Latitude 541 and the Dell Latitude 7400. Now both these two computers are 14 inch business laptops and I've done a review on these two computers already. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to check those two videos out. Uh, right after this. Now, the reason I'm actually creating this video is to help you decide on which of these two computers to purchase. Now, both of these two computers in Australia are very similar in price. Now, before I get into the pricing here, you'll see three computers here. So, this is a 7400 with an i7 with the full HD touchscreen, and this is also an aluminium. So, and this one in the middle is a 5401 with the i5 version. Now this one on the left here is the 5401 with the i7 full HD touchscreen. So these two computers are very similar in spec so we can actually do some very good comparison in performance wise for that. So first off, what's the difference between in ports wise? So the 5401 has an RJ45 Ethernet port still built in whereas the 7400 does not. So I find that for business this is actually very very useful. Now this the 5401 also has an extra USB 3.1, so it has three in total, whereas the 7400 only has two in total. Uh, but everything else, it's pretty much spec the exact same there. Now for weight wise, the 7400 should weigh less. Now, this is the aluminium version and it weighed at 1.49 kilos. The non-aluminium version weighs at 1.35 kilos. And the 5401 one, now this is the non-aluminium version and it weighed at 1.65 kilos. Now I haven't actually touched the aluminium version of this, but I'm expecting it to be about 1.75 kilos. So the non-aluminium version, the difference in weight between these two computers is around about 300 grams. So of course the 7400 is lighter than the 5401. Now as for the keyboard and trackpad, the feel of it, pretty much all the same. But the 5401 does have a track point or what I call it, the G-spot or the keyboard nipple. Um, I don't see it much used these days, but if you're one of the old style people who actually do use the track point, then the 7400 does not have that included anymore. So if you do use that, that's one of the extra bits of features that the 5401 does include. Now let's turn our attention to the screen. Now because I've got these two computers uh, full HD touchscreen spec, I'm able to measure these two and give you a good comparison if you decide to choose that. So with the 7400, the maximum brightness measured at 307 nits, whereas the 5400 one measured at 257 nits. So the 7400 has a brighter version of the full HD touchscreen. Now, if you find that useful, give it a like. So when I test out these three computers on better battery mode, uh, when I was actually just doing average use, so of just streaming some videos, watching YouTube and um, surfing the web there, um, the 7400 managed to pull nine hours and 10 minutes. Whereas the 5401 with the i5 spec managed to pull nine hours. Now the i7 version of 5401 managed to pull eight and a half hours. So of course the 7400 was the winner there, but the i5 was actually very similar in there. Now as for performance wise, I did do a benchmarks on them, but before I show you them, I'm going to explain these processes here that these house. So the 7400, this one here has this i7. Now that it's running the eighth generation, it does have four cores. Now the 5401, this is the i5 version. It does house a nine generation and it is four cores as well. Now with the i7 version, it is a ninth generation as well and it runs six cores. So between these i7 ones, you got four cores and you got six cores. And this is eighth generation and this is ninth generation. Now besides the actual generation and core difference between the 7400 and the 5401, there is one major difference and that is the 7400 runs off a mobile version of the processor whereas the 5401 runs a full-blown version of it. So you're going to see that definitely in the performance and the benchmarks between these two computers. So. When I did the benchmarks between these two computers, I ran the Passmark and also Cinebench. So I'll run off through the Cinebench first. You will actually see that the 7400 
i7 is actually far behind compared to the even the i5 version of the 5401 and of course this i7 version of the 5401 just blows it apart in benchmark scores now as for pass mark it pretty much reflects the exact same there as well the 7400 is at the end there and that's i7 and the 5401 i5 even beats the 7400 i7 version i might as well talk about the materials so because i've got the aluminium version and the non aluminium version i might as well tell you which one or what i prefer now i'll make it very simple for you if you've got the money for it go with the aluminium it is so much nicer feel to it has a more premium look to it as well uh, it does weigh a little bit more heavier than the normal version but definitely if you've got the money go with the aluminium version you won't be disappointed by it now that we know the performance of these three computers, I'm going to talk about the price difference of these three computers here to try and help you decide on which computer. So taking account if these three computers are evenly specced up, so same amount of RAM, same amount of hard drive, using integrated graphics, same build quality, so the not only minimum version, same screen type there, and the only difference is the processor there. I'm going to use the Dell Latitude 7400 as a reference point. Now here in Australia, the 5401 i5 version is $101 cheaper than the 7400 i7 version. And the 5401 i7 is $102 more expensive than the 7400 i7 version. So they're very similar price, but even the i5 is cheaper than this one here, the 7400, and it has a better performance here. So to try and help you on which one to decide on, I'm going to break it down for you. If weight is your most major factor and you don't mind missing the RJ45 and an extra USB port, go with the 7400. But for everything else, go with the 5401. It also has an uh, option to go with a discrete graphics and it can go up to a capacity of 32 gigs of RAM whereas the 7400 can only go 16 gigs of RAM and it has that extra track point as well as an extra USB and the most important RJ45 for a lot of businesses and it has a lot better performance. Even the i5 version is a better performer than the i7 version of the 7400. It does weigh a little bit more but that's all right, it's considering if you just mostly got this thing docked. So definitely, I'm hoping this will help your decision there. Now, if you find this video informative or enjoyed it, give it a like. And if you haven't done it already, subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. I do try to upload a new video every Tuesdays and Fridays. And just remember, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. I'll see you next video.